This is a very small impromptu video demonstration of the keyboard layout. This is the Microzone U648 and uh, we're currently under attack by American Air Forces. Not really, it's an air show. Whew, that was a close one. What we're looking at is an array of six keyboards one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you look at just this row here, you can see the bottom row is a, a piano keyboard, 48 keys wide. Uh, here you can see the C natural, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. F sharp G, G sharp A, B flat, B, and C again. The reason for the angle on this keyboard array that you see here, the slant, is so that the octave always sits on a horizontal line. Watch. Here I'm going to pick out these C notes here. C. Here's C up an octave. Let me turn up the volume a little. So, you can see that these six individual ranks, and I'll point that you can see here identified by the black and white pairs, number one, number two, programmed to different MIDI channels so that you can hear there are in fact different separate instruments containing the same instrument. I'll play it at a higher register. There's number three. Notes can be played chromatically along a given rank. Or you can actually play across the various flats and the uh, vertices, the points that uh, are adjoin uh, keys. Uh, between adjacent keys and you can you can see the various tuning layouts that are achieved by just stacking the ranks this way. So here if I go across the flats in in this direction here again I have a chromatic scale. And the same in this direction. walked across uh, each of the different ranks but basically I'm playing the same note value in each of uh, on each of those ranks if, um, if you tune of course each one of those channels to the same patch you hear it all as the same sound in the same voice now when you go across up in a row across these flats you find that you're playing a, a whole tone scale you're playing in a major second interval When you see, I played it chromatically. Um, um, you go across and you pick this axis, skipping the inter intermediate keys. Um, that's a mi those are minor third intervals. kinds of chords are laid out right under your fingers naturally. Um, when you grab a chord shape, any shape, and if you wanted to move it chromatically, you don't really have to change your fingering because you can just work with the axes uh, that are available to you and uh, get a chromatic movement that way. Anything that you grab, you can move around using that same uh, technique. All I'm doing is moving that chord.
chord shape directly up in that direction. Let's try something else. Well, here you can see I've gotten the unison. So if you're picking any notes and you want to go straight up the line. something that's uh, <clears throat> just in a straight line, you get different interval relationships. Yeah, I'll show you. Thank you. 